Hi there, this is Fixed It. I'm setting up a CNC machine on an old PC and I've got an old Sony VO. On the Sony VO, it isn't obvious how to get to the BIOS and here's how you do it. What you need to do is when the uh, splash screen comes up with Sony, put your finger down on F2 and then you hit F1 and just gently keep hitting F1 until the BIOS appears. Once you're in the BIOS setup utility, use the right key to move to advanced. Then select onboard device configuration, hit enter. Now you need to move down to the parallel port address, which may say disabled. Hit enter and select 378. This will give you your parallel port mode. Select that and hit enter. Now select EPP, select that, that's your parallel port setup, now hit F10 and save the configuration by pressing on OK. This will then take you back to Windows XP to start up. Now open Mac 3 and Mac 3 will tell you that the driver has loaded. You'll see the uh, flashing reset. Click on that with the mouse and now when you hit the emergency stop reset button on the router control box the reset will go back to flashing to tell you that the reset button has been pressed. This tells you that the CNC control box is now talking directly to the Mac 3 software. Now you can hit tab and use the joggle facility to test your X, Y and Z axis movements. You now have a working CNC machine running on the parallel port on the PC. I hope this worked for you. I hope you like the video and if you do please give it the thumbs up and share it with others. Thanks for watching. Bye.